Hello there, friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here, and today I am starting a brand new year-long project, and it's called Photos I Love in 2024. So this is the photo I have picked out for January 2024. We were back home at my childhood home in Connecticut and we had a big snowstorm and my husband and I got up early and we built my mom a snowman. She loves snowmen and I love snow. I'm not sure if you can see in the picture but the snow is actually coming down as we were building and I felt like a little kid. I was outside all day in the snow and this stories or photos I love project has been inspired by my dear friend Stacy Julian. Um, some of you may be in her um, um, Love Your Story membership and um, she has introduced us to this year-long project and so I'm super excited about it because I will continue to scrapbook my 12 by 12 pages um, but in addition to that each month I'm going to choose one photo that is going to be my favorite photo for that month and i am going to document this in a separate album so what i have here is the stories i love kit and this is part of the um um stacy julian collection that close to my heart collabed with her now this workshop is a retired item um, but it is still available on my website you could go to the story by stacy tab or you could go to online only and this is called the stories i love so in this workshop kit you get a six by eight album it says stories i love the project is technically called photos i love but every photo tells a story so i'm gonna house um all my my 12 favorite photos one for each month in this book and what's really cool about this workshop is the workshop kit is it comes with this workbook so if you're not familiar with this this is a great way to get started on um, documenting some of your photos you don't have to do a complete album you can just pick photos you love and treat each individual page kind of like its own scrapbook so you could have photos in your stories I love album that span a wide range of years and all different topics and this workbook just kind of walks you through how to choose photos what to say in your photo and it gives you all of these steps and you can write all your answers in they give you uh, diagrams on how to set up your pages so if you are not a scrapbooker this is for you if you're all about just doing something with some of your favorite photos this is for you any age could do this as well and then it goes on to the back to give you more instruction and then what else you get in here is your page protectors you get all of your base pages and what's cool about this is there's a gray side as well as a white side so you get to decide which side you want to use so there's some title pages here and then you've got all of these base pages and you can see there's some with dots you flip it over and it's the opposite. You've got the diagonal lines. You flip them over and you've got the opposite. You've got straight lines like notebook paper. You flip it over. You've got graph paper. And the back side is just blank. And then you get um, some six by five white daisy cardstock sheets. And in the workbook, it shows you how to use all of these pieces and then as if that's not enough you get two sheets of really colorful stickers and these are generic stickers so you can use these for anything there's no theme but you've got some fun colorful circles and half circles you've got some pennants some just sticker strips over here, you've got more larger circles. You've got stars and hearts. I love the cameras. You've got some little tabs there and then 
some phrase stickers and you can use these whatever way you want even if it means just copying what you see in the workbook so what i'm going to do is open up my album and we're going to get started on documenting this first picture of january i'm not quite sure what exactly i'm going to do yet i did pull in another story by Stacy Product. It's called the Storyteller How-To Book. This is another product that has since retired, but it is still available on my website while supplies last. Again, just go to my website, click on the Story by Stacy tab, and all the product will come up. But this is a great resource just giving you tips and tricks and telling you exactly how to tell your stories in different formats there's the 12 by 12 single page the 12 by 12 double page we've got pocket pages we've got six by eight pocket pages we've got eight and a half by 11 um, but you can see it's just filled with so much information but i even use these for ideas on um when i'm stuck and trying to come up with a a layout pattern so this is another great resource that i do recommend i will list everything that i mentioned in this video in the product description below so that you will have that but what i'm going to do is clear my desk and get out some supplies and we're going to get started all right friends i am back and i decided to pull out my love of color book because actually there's two volumes of it and i pulled this out because throughout this book not only does it give you great color combinations it gives you great um project ideas whether it's 12 by 12 layouts or cards or paper crafting there's also um, eight and a half by 11 pages and six by eight pages. So I went through and in the volume two, I came across this page right here. Now with my Photos I Love album, it, it's going to be just one page and I've been going back and forth. Am I going to journal? Am I not going to journal? It's supposed to just be simple. Photos I love, print a photo, put it in a book and then I will have this great book at the end of the year with a photo I love from each month. I really liked this layout because um, it features the one photo and I thought that perhaps maybe I could um, do some stamping. So here is my photo. I did trim it down. I ended up trimming it down. Um, let me get my version that and I will tell you I know it's still four inches actually it's three and three quarters by five and three quarters and then I can I pulled in went through my winter stamps that have snowmen I pulled this one this is old it's a month of the year and I like the January because I think um, I'm going to use that in place of the thankful. And then I have all of the months of these so I could use the same stamp font for each month. So I like that. And then I just went through and I pulled different winter sets. Um, I liked um, live in the moment, but I thought that might be too big. And then I hit the jackpot because this particular set, which was called Seas and Greetings, I had a bunch of the snowmen already thin cut it out and stamped, and I liked this one because it had some snowflakes. So I could, in place of the leaves and whatnot, perhaps I could use snowflakes. And I wanted to use some of the Gnomes for Winter collection. So I did, um, take some of the stickers off the sticker sheet. I used my anti-static pouch to get the stickiness off of it so I can use these to kind of audition on my page. So I don't know, maybe I'll use some snowflake stickers. I liked that heart there and I liked that magical. So maybe we'll use uh, some of those. I don't know, but we have lots of things to... Um, to go with. 
Um, and then the different patterns of paper in this Gnomes for Winter collection, which I did do a layout for my mom's Christmas album, but I haven't done a whole lot of scrapbook pages with this. I love this, love this snowman. I could even maybe cut him out if I wanted to. The back side of this is just a wintry scene. It doesn't have the gnomes, so if you don't like gnomes. I love this word art, and I thought that these colors went well with the photo that that uh, stripe is great i really really liked this the the um the snow coming down which is exactly i don't even know if the camera picks up with the snowflakes coming down in the photo you can see it maybe on my husband's ski pants and then the back was this so i wanted to use this even though this collection is retired it is still available on my website while supplies last so i will make sure to list everything that i use in case you are interested so i did do a little bit of cutting off camera i'm going to use a white daisy piece as my base and then i cut this wintry storm paper a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch smaller so i'm kind of doing it a little bit opposite of this page here where the base page was cardstock and then they did white so i'm doing it a little bit different i will get my adhesive and i'm using my close to my heart tape runner that i love and i am just going to put this in the center so we've got that and then look you know what i'm going to do i'm going to put this page right here so we can you can see the comparison so i've got my photo and then you can see here they have two different shades of purple paper and they matted the photo. So I'm actually going to mat my photo with white daisy cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And it's just um, about a 16th of an inch larger. So it just gives it a little bit of pop. And then I pulled in the pine and the periwinkle, which are colors in that Gnomes for Winter. I decided to use the light side of them. And looking at the placement here, um, it's gonna go, I think I want the dark on the top. So it's gonna kinda go like this, and we'll just dry fit this for right now. Go like that. And I'm putting my mat more towards the bottom because I'm thinking that I'll have the January word up top like that. And then we can stick this on. This is gonna have to come out a little bit more. This is a great example of how easy it is to just add cardstock to a page. And can I just tell you how much I love this six by eight size? So that can go like this, but then you can see that stripe pattern paper. What I did is I pulled this sticker off of the sticker sheet and I liked it because it has that peach color and the brown in it because there's brown and peach in my jacket. So this perhaps could go right here like that. And I think what I'll do is trim the arrow and the dovetail off. So let me get my scissors and I'm just eyeballing that. So it's just one rectangle and we could stick that maybe right there like that. And then, um, like I said, I had the snowman already cut out and stamped and maybe he could go there. And I am gonna move this over a little bit. And then you can see how they have the, the vine. So I did take the snowflakes and I stamped them 
each of them in three different colors. I stamped them in a sapphire, periwinkle, and mist. And we'll see what we like better. And we can also see if we like this. So I'm thinking that I like the actual snowflakes cut out better. Let's just see what color we're gonna like. Um, so that is the periwinkle. Let's try the mist. Um, or we can do the sapphire. Oh, I'm thinking I like the sapphire. The sapphire definitely pops more. Yeah, I like the sapphire. So I will show you how easy it is to stamp those. I am one that likes to do my thin cutting and then my stamping. So I'm gonna pull in the foam sheet that comes with every stamp set. You can also use the foam from um, uh, the backside of your version mat. And then I'm just gonna ink up my stamp. And stamp it down. Some people like to do their stamping and then their thin cutting. There's no right or wrong way. It's whatever you like best. And to be honest with you, I think I'm in the minority for wanting to do my thin cutting and then my stamping. So I will have plenty of snowflakes to use on this page. I'm just gonna clean my stamps with my stamp chamois. Now you're looking at my stamp chamois and you're probably like, oh my gosh, the thing is filthy. It does stain, the ink does stain, but it is still cleaning my stamps just fine. And once your um, stamp chamois does get really kind of gross, you can actually put that in um, on the top shelf of your dishwasher and wash it through the dishwasher. Just a little FYI for you. All right, and while we have our stamps out, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my black archival. And I've got my January from that month, oops, months of the year. And let's go ahead and use this white daisy strip. And we'll see if I can get this stamped evenly. I would love to know, are you one that likes to use stamps on your scrapbook pages or are you more um, a sticker person or a die cut person? I love to do it all. Okay, that's a little far up, but I'm good with this. I like this and I think this will look really nice right there like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is bring my sapphire ink in and I'm gonna distress this ink to paper. So just going like this to kind of give it a little something something. That's gonna make it pop more. And I do like that. All right, I am happy with this. Let's go ahead and color in our snowman. I'm gonna use my um, spe uh, my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers and I'm bringing in my all-purpose mat. And I pulled some markers. I'm gonna do the nose with the orange blend. I got ink on my knuckle. Now, not all of these markers are still available um, on my website. I will list the ones that are available. Um, then I pulled in my coral blend and I'm gonna use the mid. Let's see what the mid looks like. I thought that would go with 
the peach that's in my jacket. But when I do thin cutting, I'll always do a bunch. I'll do extra and then I'll stamp them and just stick them in my stamp envelope. And then um, it's kind of nice because when you need something, there's some already done for you, which kind of happened to me today. Um, okay, so now I'm doing my vintage blue blend and I thought I'd do the hat. And this is a light gray or the lightest color of vintage blue, and I thought it kind of mimicked the gray. But now I'm not so sure. Let's see how, I don't know. I think it needs a little more color. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to go right over it with my dull green. I'm just gonna go right over this. And this is the mid color. So that will bring out the green in the cardstock we used. And I think I might like that better. And then I can do the hat. So there is a difference. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but there is a difference between the pom-pom and the hat. And then I could take my, um, yeah, we'll use ice gray blend and I can just add a little bit of shadowing. I am by no means an expert when it comes to coloring. I'm always in awe when I watch my fellow maker friends do their coloring and watch home office, but I'm thinking I could even add some of that snow or some glitter, but for now, I think that this is going to work out just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all adhered, and then we'll play with the snowflakes and see if I wanna use any of those stickers.